UMBC women's lacrosse facing Vermont, a win would not only put them over 500, but it would put them right back into contention in the America East. A minute and three seconds into the game, it's Rachel Benzing getting on the board. She had a big game, a goal and four assists. Here's one of her assists as she dumps it off to Kristen Bilney, putting the Retrievers up 2-0. Then, Alyssa Simonis takes it in, putting the Retrievers up 3-0 off the assist from Shannon Harkey. Vermont would cut into their lead. It they would make it 3-2 off this goal by Sydney Moss. That makes her the all-time career point getter at Vermont. But then on a free position, it's Bilney again as the Retrievers would go back up 4-2. And then it was Mackenzie Reese making it 5-2. And the Retrievers would keep it going in the first half. Here's another goal. This one by Alyssa Simonis putting the Retrievers up 6-3. And then it's Shannon Harkey putting the Retrievers up 7-3. And then after Vermont cut it to 7-4 right before the half, it's Albie Wilson putting the Retrievers up 8-4. And that was the score at the half. But Vermont, one of the highest scoring teams in the nation, would score four in a row to tie the game early in the second half. But Allie Carpenter would break it and give the Retrievers another lead at 9-8. And then it's Abby Wilson. This was part of a 4-0 UMBC run as they would go up by as much as 12-8 as Kristen Bilney would score and the Retrievers would win 12-9. That was a, a tough effort by a full team um, and that was great to see. I mean, you can get your offensive unit, your midfielder unit, and your defense and your attacking unit all playing together and saying um, good things happen. So that's kind of how we started and ended that game, which was great to see. Uh, well, draw controls is really big. We've been struggling with that. And um, I think we made adjustments in practice and then I made adjustments in the game, which get the draw a lot more. <laughs> Um, it was huge. I mean, it was a point in our season where we really needed to step up, and I feel like we all dumb deep and came out with a big win today.